come from Earth, a planet of outlaws. My name is Peter Quill. There's one other name you might know me by. Star-Lord. Who? Well, Star-Lord, man. Legendary outlaw. Guys? Forget it. So here we are. A thief, two thugs, an assassin, and a maniac. But we're not gonna stand by as evil wipes out the galaxy. I guess we're stuck together. Partners. Are you telling me the fate of 12 billion people is in the hands of these criminals? Oh, yeah. I look around, you know what I see? Losers. But life's giving us a chance. To do what? Something good? Something bad? A bit of both. Oh, what the hell? I don't got that long a lifespan anyway. might not be the best idea. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So we just got a brand new trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy. We got a nice full look at Ronan the Accuser and the Accuser Core, as well as the Collector. So for my Marvel bonus video this week, I'm just gonna do a breakdown of all the new things in my top five moments. So here we go, number five, the music. Yes, it's a little bit ridiculous. They kept hooked on a feeling from the last trailer, but they also added Spirit in the Sky. It ties into Peter Quill's anachronistic taste in music. He listens to classic rock and flies a spaceship. That, as well as all of them being a bunch of well-meaning dirtbags, really sets this funny tone for the movie that I think everyone's gonna really, really enjoy. The Avengers was funny. I mean, it was Joss Whedon hilarious, but this is turning the knob to 11. It's gonna be so bonkers. You have no idea, and I'm so excited to see it. Number four, Groot Speaks. So Vin Diesel actually is just doing a Q&A this morning and he said he probably said I am Groot about a thousand times in the recording booth. He has language, like a real language, but only Rocket Raccoon can understand him. It's a lot like Han Solo and Chewbacca. A really furry, short Han Solo and a really tall, fibrous Chewie. We also got to see some of his powers. He does have some unique abilities, including the ability to regrow himself from a single piece of his skin, like a spore. He regenerates because his skin and limbs just get chipped off all the time. That flower he handed to the little girl also probably grew off of him. We also got to see him pop spikes on his back, you know, like Wolverine pops his claws. I'm really interested to see some of his arbor-based powers, mostly just watching him get blown up and then just regrow himself. Number three, we got to hear Nova Prime, Glenn Close. We didn't see her, but she is playing Nova Prime, the leader of the Nova Corps. Think of her as like a giant step up from Colby Smulders and Winter Soldier. She's like the Nick Fury of the galactic version of S.H.I.E.L.D. They've really been pushing John C. Riley though as the face of the Corps in all the trailers, so I'm guessing he's just going to be spending way more face time with the Guardians, way more than Glenn Close. But a lot of people are also wondering if there's going to be any references to Nova, as in Nova the superhero, like in Easter eggs. He's not supposed to be in the movie, but I do have my fingers crossed they're going to include some references to him. I'm thinking they might actually hold Nova back for one of the sequels though, the one of the Guardians of the Galaxy sequels. Number two, a full on shot of the Collector. So it's also kind of implied that he'll be working for or working with Thanos in the movie. Obviously because Thanos is such a huge deal, he's probably not going to be in any of these early trailers, but supposedly Marvel has cast him already and he's a big part of the story. Those are all just rumors, so take it with a grain of salt. The Collector is just going to be the most visible antagonist in the movie. He's obviously trying to collect all the Infinity Gems, and as of the end of Thor The Dark World, he has a couple of them already. And my number one moment, Ronan the Accuser. So we finally got to see a full-on shot of Ronan and the Accuser Core. That's what those hammers are. It really reminds you visually of Thor, which is kind of funny. The Accuser Core is his army of Kree soldiers. Ronan is a Kree which serves justice in their territory of the galaxy. They're like an opposing but equal force to the Nova Corps. Lots of different galactic organizations out there, but this movie will set the stage to go way beyond the small S.H.I.E.L.D. Earth-based stuff that we've been seeing since the first Avengers movie. 
Ronan, for the most part, is an antagonist to the Guardians, but he has worked with them in the past in the comics, as well as the Avengers. So he's more of like a Darth Vader to the Collector's Emperor, although he's not necessarily a servant. Nebula, though, Karen Gillan's character, is a full-on villain. I am so excited to see her. She'll also be working for the Collector with Ronan, mostly with Ronan, though. They haven't really released any information about how this movie is going to tie into Avengers 2, because that's the next movie, other than the MacGuffin of the Infinity Gems. Avengers 3 is really when those are going to become a big part of the story, so I'm not expecting too many Avengers shoutouts in this movie, but we might get another Avengers post credit scene, or maybe even see an Ant-Man teaser, since that's the next movie after Avengers 2. But now it's your turn, let me know below in the comments, what was your favorite moment? Seeing Groot speak for the first time, or getting a good look at the Accuser core? But in other news, my Marvel bonus video this week is basically this video. But if you guys want me to do a Marvel q and I'll do that tomorrow on Tuesday because I'm also going to be doing a Star Wars bonus video. So be sure to subscribe to get everything and feel free to leave me suggestions for topics that you guys want to talk about. Thank you so much for watching. Right now you can actually click here to learn all about the new fall TV shows that Marvel's doing, including the Netflix shows. And you can click here for my breakdown on the Star Wars 7 cast. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tonight. High fives.